We are set to enter day five of the Otis McCain trial. More body cam footage from officers responded to the shooting of SAPD detective Benjamin Marconi was shown in court yesterday. Two officers describing the scene as chaotic testimony given by a crime scene investigator and the officer who rode in the ambulance with Marconi and the officer who spoke with Marconi's family. The trial continues later this morning. One officer has died and three others are hospitalized after a standoff near Lubbock. The incident involved a man barricaded in a house yesterday in Loveland. Sergeant Josh Bartlett, leader of the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office SWAT command, was taken to a hospital where he died. The suspect was taken into custody. Now to the latest in that Capitol chaos, Matthew Mazzocco agreeing to plead guilty for his actions during the January Capitol riot. As sentencing set for October, his charge carries a maximum sentence of six months in prison with a fine of no more than $5,000. Mazzocco posted on social media about his visit to D.C. during the siege, later arrested in Stone Oak. Democratic lawmakers who fled Texas to block a restrictive voting bill say they are now dealing with increased scrutiny, stress and secrecy. Their goal is to hold out until the end of the special legislative session on August 7th. But Governor Greg Abbott can call another special session 30 days after that. Now to the latest in the pandemic, COVID cases heading in the wrong direction at an alarming rate because of the highly contagious Delta variant. Cases on the rise in at least 45 states. The concern also growing for children under the age of 12 who cannot yet get their vaccines. Wildfires continue spreading on the West Coast. A drought is expanding and another heat wave is on the way. Temperatures in some parts of the Rockies this weekend could soar to 40 degrees above average, while more windy, dry conditions are fueling fires in a dozen states. Mosquito trap sample sites in Bear County testing positive for West Nile virus. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says about one in five infected people develop a fever and other symptoms. The County Office of Emergency Management plans to launch an information campaign in the area for tomorrow morning and mosquito repellent will be available. Despite being postponed for a year, the coronavirus looms large over the Tokyo Olympics. Daily cases in Japan are at a six-month high. There will be no spectators, and now a handful of athletes have opted out altogether. There is a big need of type O blood. You can donate today at Veterans Memorial High School until 2 p.m. Donors will receive several gifts in return. And that's today's 9 at 9.